So I'm standing right here on the edge and over there is the bridge. This is uh, rather surprising. And this is definitely what we saw on Google Maps. Oh, there's the mama deer. It's okay, not gonna hurt you. But let's see where the bridge to nowhere does go. Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in for today's video. So in this video, we're on the hunt yet again for another Google Maps item. While searching Google Maps, I did find some, what appears to be man-made structures. And our adventure brings us to here, the beautiful small town of Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. And what we're gonna be traversing on is what is known as the DNL Trail, also known as the Lehigh Canal North Trail. Now, obviously it's an old rail trail, but with the canal name mixed in, I do think it might be ruins or remnants from an old canal that was attached or alongside the Lehigh River. Now I can't be for certain, but we're going to find out one way or the other once we do get there. The only thing we're going to have to contend with though is the foliage is really thick and green right now. So it's going to be kind of a harder, I guess you could just say harder to locate these items. Um, but there's actually not one, but two places we're going to be searching because there's two different structures or items along this trail that I did locate on Google Maps. And the way we're going to be getting there is right here with my High Boy VE1 Pro Big Wheel Electric Scooter. This is going to allow us to cover a lot of ground much more quickly and efficiently. And we're going to be starting right here. So just for reference point, the Jim Thorpe train station is right there. Downtown is right there. And we're starting right here at the bridge going over the Lehigh River and following it through the valley here. So if you want to see what I find and find out if it is indeed canal ruins, you know what to do. Just come along with me and we'll find out together. And we are off. Oh, I can actually give you a nice view here before we get going of the river rafters coming down. There they are. So they got dropped off by bus. They float down the river, get picked up somewhere down the river. And it makes for a nice, enjoyable river rafting trip down the Lehigh River. Actually a fish in the water right there. See his orange color just swimming there in the current. All right, I'm not sure how far we have to go. I don't think it's too terribly far for our first location, but we're gonna keep our eyes peeled and hopefully there's some signs of something obvious. Otherwise, I'm gonna definitely have to keep checking in on Google Maps, see if I'm in the right location and maybe get off trek off the rail trail here and see what we can locate. Cruising at about 15 miles per hour. Don't want to go too fast so I could keep my eyes vigilant off to the sides. And in case you're curious, today is a Thursday. It's around 80 degrees, about 45% humidity. So it's Nearly perfect weather. Blue sunny skies, couple puffy clouds. That's a nice trail. It's almost like a roller coaster. A lot of fun on a scooter or even a bike. Okay, I think we may have come upon our first location. All right, I'm gonna park the scooter and we're gonna get out, get off and check it out. 
So just came down the trail, parked on the side here, and we definitely do have something to check out. Now, this is not completely hidden and obscure. There actually is a placard there, so this is more of a, a little historical place. But nonetheless, we're gonna check it out. The sign is pretty badly weathered, but it says, way lock, twice as important. And there's an old photo here showing a, a bridge of sorts, which I believe is this same area here. And it's showing a canal lock and it has the dates 1829 to 1942. So this bridge that they have constructed, I believe is going over the old canal, which is right here. It is dried up, I believe, maybe just a couple inches of water. But yeah, if we look right there, there's concrete, a concrete wall, which would be the lining for the canal lock here, I believe. So we are essentially standing right here over the canal. There's actually some anchor bolts coming out over here. And on this side, there's some large stones, anchor bolts, concrete. So this is certainly ruins of the canal. Uh, there's a off-beaten trail here. What do you think? Let's check it out and see what's back here. I don't want to leave the scooter for too long. Oh, I believe we're walking on like a towpath here, possibly. Because off to my left, there is another canal. Here we go. Look at that. You can see the stacked stone walls on both sides. This is definitely a canal chamber here canal path whatever you want to call it that is pretty neat still standing strong so what we're walking on right here is essentially like a towpath where they would have had mules or whatever that would have pulled the boats down if they did indeed use them okay now we're coming out onto an outcrop here so i'm standing right here on the edge and over there is the bridge and yeah, this is pretty neat. So we got one chamber or canal section here, a little divider and another one over there. Might be better to come back in the winter time to see it in, in better conditions, but regardless, still pretty neat. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the images I showed you on Google Maps, there might be a structure in the woods kind of near my scooter. I think I'm gonna make my way over there and we're going to see if we could find remnants of that. I believe it's just a foundation. But regardless, it might be something worth documenting. Because if I didn't take this little path that we're walking back on right now, I wouldn't have even known about the other canal off to my right here. Pretty neat so far. Now... All right, before we go over the bridge back to the other side, there's another path here. Let's take this. Here's a pile of stones here. Just gotta watch out for the ticks. All right, so we've come upon some more ruins here. So we are looking again inside the canal of sorts. There's a concrete wall, a higher stone stacked wall. And you can tell this has been obviously dry for a long time. We've got some pretty big trees growing. There's some tumbling stones and concrete over there. But clear evidence that it is man-made. I just walked down this little pathway here and it opens up down here. So the canal is essentially right up there where the walls start. It's rather level and flat back here. So the landscape has changed greatly. I think this is more or less a walking slash hiking trail. I don't want to go too far off uh, leaving the, the scooter. I'm going to take a, just a quick glance down there. If there is something worth showing, I'll bring you down. Otherwise, we're going to backtrack, go back to the scooter and check the woods over there for the signs of the structure. Gotta say, it's a beautiful pathway here. So I did walk further down, came back to a type of retaining wall. 
and there is a cross of sorts, like an X. It's my foot, size 13 for comparison. That's just laying here. I'm not sure what would have been standing out of it, but there is four holes. And this path does continue. Yeah, I'm not sure how much further it goes. All right, I'm gonna get back to the scooter. I just wanna make sure it's still there for one. And then we're gonna go on the scooter side and look for those remnants and ruins of the building. But if you do wanna maybe see me return in the future, probably in the fall or winter time, to maybe walk this trail more and see where it goes, see if there's any other findings further down, feel free to leave your feedback down below in the comment section. All right, so I am in the woods now. My scooter is right there. And I'm going to search this area to see if I can find what I saw on maps. It's really thick here, so it's gonna be a needle and haystack type of thing. But we gotta at least take a chance and look. So right in here, it drops off. Uh, how far is that? It's about from here to the very bottom, about 15, 20 feet. But I'm not sure if it's up here or down there. I think I'm going to try to make my way down, search the area. It does open up a bit more. And then if not, we'll check higher up. And worst case scenario, if we don't find it, we don't find it. But I think we may have some decent luck if I do scour the area. So come along with me if you find something. Shout out, Jay, look over here. And I'll try and come and see it. Raptors are floating by over there. And here's something. And I say something because I don't know what it is other than a big concrete block. What could this be? So it's actually hollow on the inside. This is rather interesting. So. Here's my hand for scale. It is concrete, there's rebar coming through. Flat walls in a square shape, but inside there's stacked stone and a circular pit. Almost resembles like a giant fire pit. I don't see any metal or anything, and it's maybe about two feet deep. There's a tree growing out obviously, but yeah, so it's circular stone stacked up, mortared together inside of this big, concrete square and it's pretty much 20 25 feet from the river I can't even begin to think of what it could be so if you guys do have any idea as to what we're looking at or even speculation it's fun to speculate too feel free to comment down below I'm back on the trail. The bridge is down there that we crossed. Just about to give up. And I'm glad I didn't because I think I found what we were searching for. Do you see it? This has to be it. This is pretty big. Wow. Let's safely get down here. Look at this. This is a good sized structure. So I'm basically standing on one of the walls here and there's a lot of bolts coming through. There's some stone mixed in with the concrete here. And that's essentially at the basement, if there was a basement. So it's a combination of concrete, stone and mortar and some rebar and anchor bolts coming through. This was, it had to have been a structure, a building of sorts. As to what it could have been used for, that's a good question. What I'd like to do though is to get down there and show you guys what it looks like compared to me because probably camera is not doing it justice. And I don't know how strong these walls are. Okay, so there's a big gap there. I'm going to have to find another way down there. But yeah, this has to be what we saw on those earlier versions of Google Maps or Google Earth. 
and we've got some big trees growing out so this has been in this condition for a long time and mother nature is slowly eroding it away the rock is just kind of disintegrating and getting rounded off smoothed off but it's just hiding here and also there's also a pipe here right there looks like it's filled with concrete but I wonder if that was like a testing pipe of sorts. So there's the opening. All right, let me get inside and we'll explore more of this curious structure here in the woods. So being inside now, you can see there's various types of materials used for construction. We have stone with some mortar, mostly concrete there, concrete right here as well. That is kind of eroding and disintegrating. It's more concrete walls some big trees and some big spider webs mixed in and over here we do have even some brick almost like a little patch job and all throughout there's metal bars coming through and the back side of this wall is the river so that's how close it is so there was a pretty big structure here right along the Lehigh River that definitely played part in the Lehigh Canal and this wall does keep going for a little ways but I think there might be more over there to see so let me get down here give you one final look at this opening here oh you can actually see I think there would have been wood here where they would have made the molds or the forms for the concrete that's what it looks like yeah there's wood notches either that or it could have been part of framing for a door but it does appear to be notched out there from planks of wood. So I guess it could have been a doorway. And you can see the embankment here, how steep it is. Getting a little hot and sweaty as I'm navigating through the woods here, but I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully you are. Don't forget though, this is only our first location. We still have another area further down the rail trail to locate and hopefully explore as well. And if this is any sense of what we're gonna be finding I think it's going to be worthwhile to continue watching to see what else we do discover. Upon further investigation, I've come across even more structures. We have a big wall here. Right in front of me is remnants of a brick wall, which is still holding strong. And further up, I believe there might be another item here. So you can see we are walking. Wow. Oh, this is a tunnel. No way. I have to get down there to check that out. There's a big tunnel under here. Here it is. Yeah, here's the opening. So we could easily walk down there. This is getting even more intriguing as we walk around and see. So this structure here is completely made out of stone with just some concrete plaster or mortar there's some big bolts coming out but there is two uh, actually three uh, arches I believe for water I'm pretty certain this was connected and maybe went under the rail trail when it was a rail line and connected to the canal and this would have flown flown flowed right into the river which is right there there's another opening it's a stone wall there and there's even more this this is uh rather surprising and this is definitely what we saw on google maps or i should say google earth a little hard to navigate here but it's well worth it 
Yeah, this is really big. Here's a big eye hook. And we're looking down into like the pits here. That's where it would have flowed through. There's another wall in the middle there. This is extremely large and a very far drop from where I am walking. I don't want to go too much further. I don't think that wall is going to be very safe. Just to put things into perspective, this is the little roller coaster hill I mentioned when we were riding earlier. I rode right past this. But what do you see this incredible sight? Do you see that? How cool is that? Oh, spider webs. So there are three openings. The far right one has a steel lining on the inside. The other two look like they're just stone. Wow, that is pretty incredible. Just hiding here in the woods. Here's a closer look at the construction. Big bolts coming out here. Size of the stone. And the three chambers. Again, that one is lined with steel. And these two are open. There's a nice breeze coming through as well. And as we uh, look down, this would have been a wall waterfall of sorts. So I can try to describe. If I'm able to, I'll get down there and show you an opposite view. but. There is a wall here below us that's made out of stacked up stones. Over there, it's basically bare ground. You can see the wall over there. So it's like an open area. The same over here, an open area. So when the water spilled out of these, there's a pretty far drop, especially on the left and right. Now I'm wondering if this filled up with water or not though, because there is a wall straight ahead of us and an opening over there, which will lead to the river and that goes to the river over there, but I believe maybe the wall might be missing. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll determine that, but I, I really can't even imagine what this would have been used for. I know water flow, 100%, we could confirm that, but it's almost like the water came down in here, collected, and then maybe spilled out into the river. But this is pretty neat. There's looking back at me, just sitting here like a little hobbit in the hole. All right, let's try to see if we can get down there and get a view from the bottom looking up where I am now and see where the water would have went to. So we are essentially now looking, or I should say walking, where the water would have flowed, looking back to where we're hiding out in the holes. Sorry for the bad camera work. This is a little tough to navigate here. Just three big openings. Reminds me of like an old sewer layer. As we come over here, here's an opening, which goes right out to the river. It's almost like a window of sorts. And we're gonna hop down here. And have to destroy some of these spider webs are everywhere. This ground, ooh, really soft. Almost kind of sinking in it. So this still collects water to this day, I guess when we get a lot of rain or if the river level rises, water definitely still comes in here. There's a lot of debris. It's covered in a, a film and the ground's really, really soft. But look at those openings. I'm guessing these were all steel lined at one time because that's extremely smooth. Looks like they would have had a steel casing like that in there and built the stone, poured the concrete around it. So whatever reason, steel's missing, but it is in the last one.
Can't go any farther, I'm sinking. I tried to get up close, I can't go any closer than what I did. The ground is so soft, I was sinking in, and it has a rotten sulfur smell to it, just the decay of the material. Let's try the other side, and it might be a bit, a bit better. This is a little clearer view of the openings. There's everything from trees down here to ties, bottles, pieces of buoy. I'd love to know what this was for other than a passage for water. If you guys have ever seen anything like this or even have your own thoughts as to what this area was constructed for, it, again, my thoughts is that it's a collection basin and when it fills up with water, I believe it would spill out over here. Now this wall here may have been deconstructed. You can actually see another section of it there with the part missing. These are some incredible ruins and the size is no shortness of impressive. That even makes sense. Let's get a view of the river here too. A nice little sandy beach here. Well, this is a gorgeous spot. So here's a great perspective showing how close it is to the river. So there is the wall. There's that window opening. Here's the Lehigh River and the beautiful mountains. I might have possibly just made another discovery. So I'm just studying this area off camera, just trying to wrap my head around why this is here like this. And I think my early speculation was partially right, but partially incorrect. So water, I still believe came down. This is like a pooling area where the water poured into. And my first thoughts is that this was a collection area there's no opening here and the water maybe went around it i think that is incorrect if you look here do you see what i see those are vertical stones going in the shape of an arch i believe this was open at one time and this is just filled up with earth and debris and sediment over a period of decades so i think this was a clear passage that water went through here that makes a lot more sense so water came through from the canals. Gravity brought it down like a waterfall into these holding areas, temporary holding areas, spillways, if you want to even call it that, and then congregated into a central opening here. And I'm almost certain if you were to dig, you would find an arch for an opening, but it's even blocked up on the other side. So again, the earth just got filled up from, you know, natural process of weathering with uh, storms, with the river levels, stuff like that. I'm pretty certain that is what we're looking at here. We're staying on top of an opening that would have discharged, spilled out into the river. All right, back on the two wheel horse. And if we can get up there quietly, there's actually some deer up there by the bridge. Oh, there's the mama deer. It's okay, not gonna hurt you.
just spotted something here and it looks even cooler up ahead sorry for the abrupt stop hopefully i didn't throw you off i think i found a little tunnel up here all right switch to the phone just so i could use the zoom feature as i'm passing i saw more canal ruins look at the distance though i'm going to zoom in even more that is a tunnel right there very similar to what we saw before that i was describing where the water would have went through an archway like that spilling out into the river except this is on the opposite side of the trail i'm not going to get over there now it's really thick and overgrown but i think this is definitely worthy of a return visit in the fall or winter to see what that looks like up close see if it actually goes anywhere or it could just be plugged up and filled in but regardless it stood out to me it's uh, man-made construction looks really old really neat and it's just hiding here in nature and that is a wide view from what i can see from the trail here so up ahead we are going to be going underneath a train bridge and then we should be nearing our second location but as we're discovering and as i've said before is that the journey is almost if not even better than the destination so let's keep moving on so far, this is one of my favorite rail trails I've ever ridden on. Beautiful area. And here's the train bridge. Oh, well, it's actually a really large bridge that goes at a diagonal. Okay, we're at our next location. This one looks even more impressive than the last one. All right, let me uh, pull over here and we'll check it out. So after traversing that nice section of trail, I think we covered just over a mile. We've come to our next location. This is known as the Bridge to Nowhere. It says, are you going nowhere or are you now here? It's a moment in time now. So take the bridge, sit on the bench of prayer and talk to God. He wants to talk to you. He listens. Not certain I'm going to do that, but let's see where the bridge to nowhere does go. It's kind of a unique name to it and the bridge has seen better days it's a little soft but i think it'll hold now looking off to our right here on the left hand side there is a wall and there is, is indeed water down there and on top of my i should say the scooter's on top of another wall there so this is a clear canal section here this one does have some water On the other side of the bridge now, there is another section that drops off, which might be another canal area. And let's take a moment just to stop and smell the flowers. Here's a better look at the canal. 
I hear a toad down there. And I'm going to try to crop it in for you. Those are stone walls, but in between there's notches. I believe they would have had maybe wood there or something at the time. But yeah, that's a stone wall all the way down. Just imagine the manpower and labor intensive work to construct that. So over here, we're presented with another bridge and it's really overgrown here. I gotta be careful for snakes and stuff. So we're walking over like a mini canal here of sorts, more or less like a little culvert section. I didn't know this is even back here. So they have a bench here, barely hanging on. It says this park bench was financed through Body of Brothers on the Mountain, dedicated by servants of Hope Community Fellowship Church in Weisport, Pennsylvania. It's our desire that you get to know God more and more each day. All are welcome to our services on Sunday. May God richly bless you and your time spent here today. Well, it's nice that they at least have this for those who do want to utilize it. And they also do have a picnic table. It'd be a little hard to have a picnic here right now. You can see the grass is nearly as high as the, the bench, but I'm sure you come the right time of year, it'd be worthwhile to take a break and enjoy the moment. So what I'm gonna do for you now, since we kind of are in a nice, peaceful, quiet area, I don't think the bench is worthy of me sitting on it because it's looking pretty frail. I'm just going to slowly do a nice slow pan. I'm going to stay quiet and let you soak in the nature because there's rustling leaves, birds chirping, vehicle sounds in the far background, people riding by, and just gorgeous sights. So for those of you who can't get out and do this, this moment is for you. So enjoy it. So the bridge to nowhere, well, at least we know where it goes now. It's pretty neat. Although it's canal related, it does go to a nice, quiet, peaceful sitting area for those who want to sit down and talk to the man upstairs. With that being said, there's actually a lot more to see here than just this. Although this is my first time on this trail, I've seen a lot along the sides that I think are worthy to be documented. So although this is my last location here, for those of you that do want to continue watching, I do have more to share with you. Along the way here, there's a few areas where we could pull off and they look like really nice, beautiful scenic areas that are photo, photo op worthy. And also a great place to just sit down, relax, take in the views, have a drink of water and enjoy what this area has to offer. So if you came here just to see what we found, well, we found it. It was not really hidden, but I do think if I come back in the winter time, we may discover even more. So I will be on the lookout for your feedback regarding a future return visit later on this year. 
But if you do wanna just see what else I'm gonna share with you guys, continue watching. All right, here's a quick update. So further down the line, there's the Lehigh River. We've been alongside it the entire time. But now we're actually alongside the canal. And this is pretty neat. There's water here, which in this area is not terribly deep, but although it has a brownish color to it, it's relatively clear. There's actually a fish right there. I can see clear as day. And it's just slowly moving down. And on the other side, it's just a rock face. So this rail line went between the river and the canal. And although we've probably already assumed that, this is a great visual showing that picture, that description. But this is a neat little section of water. Right here, I'd say it's probably about waist deep on me. There are some areas up further, which is much deeper, may even be over my head. But I just wanted to share it with you to show you, you know, there is water in sections of the canal along the Lehigh Canal North Trail. All right, for those of you who are still watching, we are at our first bonus location. Now we did pass by this way, going that direction towards our second block area where the bench was, where they ask you to sit down and say a prayer. So we come back after doing some exploring further up. And this is one of a few locations I wanted to stop and share with you. I do have a bench here which offers some incredible views here of the Lehigh River. So when rafters are coming down, you get a great vantage point, and there is the train bridge, which we will get a closer spot to, to get some pictures of that as well. But if the train ever was to cross here, it would be a pretty neat sight. You can actually sit down here for a moment if you want. There's room here next to me if you want to sit down as well. And just listen to nature, the water, the swaying trees, the nice blue skies, puffy clouds. And unwind, take a break, and forget about everything else for just a few moments. Just a little further down the trail, we are closer to the bridge now. And it gives you a whole unique perspective. There's even this wall here. If you want to sit on and relax, you could. This here is nice because you got some nice shade and you're kind of peeking through the trees at the river and the bridge. The sun is hiding at the moment behind the clouds. But I've seen some people who are here earlier who are admiring the view.
Now, I do want to mention a couple of quick things here. Number one, this rail trail here, which is the DNL Trail, also known as the Lehigh Canal North Trail, by far the most beautiful rail trail I've been on. Not that I'm a rail trail connoisseur, but ever since I did get electric scooters and now electric bikes, I have been getting out of them more and more. And this, without a doubt, hands down, is my favorite. Very scenic. You go through such beautiful areas of nature. You get to see some unique structures like the train bridges, the canal ruins, and wildlife. We saw deer. I've seen fish in the water. This is simply a gorgeous area. Not overly crowded either. And I have covered, I want to say, probably close to 10 miles on this trip. Although I'm not back to where I started from, I've been keeping track of the mile post and we've gone for quite a distance and it keeps going. Now, although we did stop where the one clip was where I was showing you the canal water and I said there was a fish there where the river's on one side, canal's on the other side of the rail trail, I did keep going further because further down the line, there actually is a canal park. It's called Lehigh Canal Park. And I went there to check it out because I wasn't sure what there was to see. And I'm gonna share some photos as I'm talking about it. <clears throat> it's not real big, but there is some areas where there is, looks like maybe some locks and where water is flowing and some placards there explaining some more detail about it. I did include it in this video because I didn't wanna make this video too terribly long. I know it's probably already long the way it is, but I didn't want to make it overly long. But what my idea is, is based on the pictures that you saw, if you want me to return to that, I certainly can. But in addition to that, I think it'd be really neat to see what's in the waters of the Lehigh Canal. As we showed, there's some areas of water that are deeper, whether it's waist deep or deeper. And I do have my super long selfie stick. And aside from showing you the canal park, I think it'd be neat to stick the camera underwater in a few areas and see what it looks like there. There's definitely fish in there. I may even be stocked with trout. And on top of that, I did see a lot of um, undergrowth like seaweed and other things. And who knows, maybe even be some old ruins or um, relics that kind of fell in the water. But if you guys would like to see that, feel free to let me know in the comments section. I'm probably gonna check out either way for my own curiosity to see what's underwater. But if that canal park does seem interesting to you, and you want to see it in more detail and have a dedicated video for it, in addition with the underwater footage of the Lehigh Canal, your feedback will determine if that video will or will not happen. But with that being said, I'm going to be getting back to where we started from, back in Jim Thorpe, because I have another video to film, which you will probably see after this one. It's going to be um, something I'm doing for the very first time. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but it's going to be a video of first. So if you want to see what that is, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure the bell's rung. And if you want to see more adventures like this one on scooters or in nature, on rail trails, just check down below in the description for the playlist. Otherwise, if you made it to the end and listened to all my rambling and showed, shared what I showed, all I can ask of you to do is, if you enjoyed the video, to give it a thumbs up. And if you did make it this long and are still here listening to this right now, thank you so very much. You guys are awesome for doing so. It means a lot to me. I'm going through the effort, taking my time to do this for you guys, as well as myself, and hopefully you appreciate it as much as I'm enjoying it. So hope you guys are taking care of yourself. Stay safe wherever you are. And like always, I'll see you real soon in the next video.